Hi beautiful people, welcome back to my channel. So today I wanted to talk about how to do your eyeliner. So there are different tools that you can use in order to achieve your eyeliner. For example, felt tips. Now this is the Tartiste double take liner and then this is the roller liner from Benefit Cosmetics. And these two are really, really good. I've been using the Tartiste the longest, and it's a felt tip. It's very short, but pointy, and it really helps with achieving that sharp edge that you want when you're doing your eyeliner. This one here, the felt tip, is a little bit longer and very pointy, which is also very good. Another tool that you can use is a liquid liner. For example, this is the NYC liquid liner, which I'm sure you guys have seen, um, have heard me talk about in the past. It's It comes with a little brush, just like this one here. Well, this one. <laughs> and it, it makes it very, very easy for you to um, do your liner. This is probably my favorite tool to use to achieve my liner. Um, another thing that you can use is a gel liner. For example, I have this Maybelline Eye Studio gel liner. It looks kind of like this. And for this, you would definitely need to use a brush. Um, you can either use an angle brush, which I'm sure you guys have seen, but I prefer to use a little brush like this one. It's very thin. This is the Smith Cosmetics 202 brush, and this is what it looks like. So you would just basically dip it into the, the gel and just do your liner with that. Another thing that you can use, which to me is probably the most difficult, but it's definitely not um, something that is not doable, um, which is the pencil. For example, this is the Maybelline Lasting Drama Waterproof Gel Liner. I do like for the pencils to be in gel consistency because you can play around with it with a brush and sort of achieve the wing. Because of course, the tip of this, the point of this is not the perfect point for you to get a, sh a nice sharp edge. So I do like to use a brush to achieve that. I did use a pencil for my Valentine's Day glam video, which I will attach here so that you guys can check it out and see how I use the pencil with a brush to kind of maneuver it to do my liner. I did use a felt tip to do the tip because it is a little difficult to achieve that sharp edge. So I did do the wing of the liner with a felt tip brush and I did the rest of it with a gel liner. So there are a few things that you can do to help you to do your wing. For example, you can take a straight tool like this one. So basically what you would do is you would take this pencil, put it at the edge of your nose, to the corner of your eye, to the tip of your brow. This is one angle that you can use. For me, this is not the best one, and I'll explain why later. Another angle that you can use if you like the straighter brow is, for example, you can place the pencil like this to kind of the top of your ear. That's a more straighter line. For me, what I do is I use the angle of my eyebrow. So I would take my pencil or my little tool here and I would just get the shape of my eyebrow and bring it down and that's really the shape that I would go with. But it's basically somewhere in between this angle and this angle the straighter one. Another thing that you can use is tape. And this really does help out. First thing you need to do, of course, is figure out which angle is the best for you. And you would take your tape, put it on the back of your hand like this, pull it off because this removes some of that glue. Like that when you pull it off of your skin, it doesn't really tug as much. And what you would do is you would place it at whatever angle it is that you prefer and you will go right ahead and just do your liner. 
if you guys have hooded eyes I do suggest that when you're gonna do your eyeliner you put your mirror straight in front of you as opposed to a little higher or a little lower you do want it to be right in front of you so like that you can see what your eye looks like naturally and if you you know say so that you can see where your hood is and where it ends because that will help you out um, with doing your eyeliner later i will talk about that later on because i do have hooded eyes and i kind of show you a little trick that i do to um get the perfect eyeliner so without further ado guys let's just get right into it okay guys so first thing we want to do is prop our mirror directly in front of us so like that we can look straight into it you don't want to place the mirror too high up and you don't want to place it too low because you do want to see what your eyes look like naturally um so that if you do have a fold you can kind of figure out where it ends another thing to keep in mind is that you need to place your arm and your hand somewhere where it will be steady so i like to place my hand and my face kind of like with my pinky and just relax it so that it's easy for me to um, draw straight lines and also i like to bring my arm and rest it on my body kind of pushing it into my body so like that it doesn't move as much and i'd be able to keep a steady hand as well so what we're going to do now is take our liquid liner and we're going to look straight into the mirror and we are going to draw the base of the liner. Now I like to start from the outer corner of my lower lash. I don't like to start from the outer corner of my upper lash because then it'll be too high and it won't give me enough room to draw a nice wing that will be well below my fold. This is where my fold is. So I like to have my wing lower than that. So like that you can actually see it when I have my eyes open. So first thing we're gonna do is we're going to draw our wing or the base of the wing actually from here. And just bring it out like that now you have to decide which angle you want your wing in for example you can measure from here from the outer corner of your nose to the outer corner of your eye to the tip of your brow that's one angle that you can use for me that's not the perfect angle because as you can see it goes directly into my fold and it'll cut that liner. I don't like to do it too straight either because my eyes are droopy on the outer corners and I feel like that would just make them look a little droopier. So I always do it somewhere in between because I feel like that lifts my eye and it leaves me enough room under my fold to bring that wing in. So now what we're gonna do is we are going to draw a line from the tip of the line that we just did straight into my lash. Just like that. As you can see, it's still under my fold. You do not want to go higher than the fold because then that wing will crack and it'll just look weird. So now what I'm going to do is, and I, and I also did not start from the very tip of the line that I drew because that's what's going to give us that sharpness. So you do want to start a little bit lower than the tip of that line to start drawing the line to connect to your lash line. So now we're just gonna fill that in. And 
and that's it. The triangle is done. And now what we're gonna do is, we're going to draw a very thin line from the inner corner of our eye, connecting to that triangle that we just did. And that's it. It's okay we mess up because we're gonna start thickening it little by little until we get the shape that we want. So typically on the inner corner you sort of just leave it the way it is. You only start thickening it from the middle of the lash line out into the outer corner. So what we're gonna do is starting from the outer corner we are going to start thickening the line. Let's pick up a little bit more product. And that's it. That's it for this eye. As you can see, I did start a little lower only because my eyes are so hooded that I do have to bring it down a little bit so that um, the fold doesn't intervene with my eyeliner. Now, let's do the other eye. And that's it. Another thing that I like to do is tight line my liner. As you can see, right through there, you can kind of see my upper lash waterline. And I like to fill that in with my pencil. So like that, it looks even more bold. Like, take a look at it now. And I'm gonna fill that in. look at the difference now okay so now I'm gonna do the other eye And that's it for that. So now I'm gonna put on some lashes, some mascara, I'm gonna finish this look and I'll be right back with you guys. All right guys, that's all for this video. I hope you guys learned a few tips and tricks and that if you sit down and you follow this tutorial that you are able to achieve your eyeliner, it is the one thing that a lot of people feel intimidated with. But if you sit down and you take time and you practice, then you know practice makes progress so basically just sit down and practice your liner um, if you mess up wipe it off and try again that's the beauty of makeup if you mess up you can always take everything off 
and do it all over again. Nobody needs to know that you messed up a hundred times until you got it right. That's only between you, yourself, and yourself. So practice away, guys. Find out which one of the products that I mentioned is what's best for you. Again, play around with it. And I wish you guys the best of luck. By the way, let me know in the comments below if you tried it and send me pictures. Tag me on pictures. My Instagram is Soy Generous Makeup. Um, tag me on Instagram if you do try my tutorial and it works out for you. I would love to know. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and share this video. I would really appreciate it. Love you guys. Till next time.